Welcome back to one of my videos. In this video, I want to share the process of how I do a, another painting for my last university project. I'm not sure if it's going to be acrylic or oil, but um, I'm pretty sure it's going to be acrylic. I don't have that many things to say apart from... Oh, I want to let you know, for the last few months I've been collaborating with Sketchy, which is kind of a social network where you can find uh, online classes of process of paintings of artists all around the world and I don't know I think it's it's creating a great community of people uh, working with them has been wonderful and uh, they've been kind enough to offer me a new project for June so basically um, it's gonna be a series of five classes which I'm gonna share the process of how I use gouache watercolor and color pencil and a combination of the three of them um, so hopefully that goes well uh, apart from that um, nothing much to say I discovered yesterday that this project I was meant to present on June apparently is in July which is a bummer because I'm on my holidays and here in Spain is like 40 degrees Celsius which is it's gonna be great to travel with that so yeah anyways I hope you like it um, and I'll see you at the end of the video. Maybe. I don't know. Bye! <laughs>
really struggling right now uh, with everything, <laughs> with the colors and the and the portrait itself, with the drawing. I feel like uh, the reference picture is so beautiful. I'm not giving any credit. I'm not satisfied at all. This is like third round. friend from university told me to um, turn around the canvas and see and start again. Uh, I'm gonna do that and probably give all the chances that it deserves because I do not want to waste this canvas. So let's keep going. <laughs> Hello, um, what to say about the painting? I wouldn't say it's my favorite painting I've done recently, but I would say it's, I would say I'm pretty satisfied with it. Um, I was really struggling at the beginning and I don't know, I really enjoyed the process. Um, I think it went very flowy, very natural for me, especially when I decided at some point to go green, which is a pity because when I search for a reference picture i look out for color palette like if there's any colors in the picture that i'm interested on and obviously like the composition which i can play with it and the gestures and the characters and like the scene it's showing and i thought this picture was really beautiful um i think i'm beginning to be better with gestural aspect of painting like adding my own style, abstract style, I don't know, I don't know how to explain but obviously it's not completely uh, loyal to the picture, I don't know, it just got to a point it looks, it, it is more natural for me and I'm very pleased with that. And about the colour choice, I normally go monochrome whenever I struggle too much with colours. And about acrylic, I'm so sorry I gave up again, um, I just don't get it, I don't get it, maybe it was the colours. It wasn't the technique.
But anyways, next time I'll do a acrylic again as a monochrome. Maybe that will help me understand a little bit more the, the medium. Um, that's something I can always suggest. If you're not familiar with the technique, the medium, go monochrome. That normally helps. That's what I've been taught in university. So anyways, I hope you liked it and thank you so, so much for watching. Bye. Se me ven locas las sillas. Se me ven careto. Ocupan otro lado. Brutal temazo.